Welcome back designers, if you're new to the channel, my name is Richard Carpenter, a web designer and illustrator. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a cool dynamic line wave using Illustrator and Photoshop. Start off in Illustrator with a document size of 1920 by 1080 pixels and then select the line segment tool. With the line segment tool selected, we want to change the stroke to a black and a stroke weight of two pixels. And then drag a straight line across the top of your document. Make sure the line you just created is selected, then holding down the Alt key, drag a duplicate copy to the bottom of your document. We're now going to create a blend between these two lines. So select the bottom line along with the blend tool shortcut W. First click on the bottom line and then click on the top line and that will create a blend. If you double click on the menu bar icon to bring up the blend options, change the space into specified steps and we just want to tick the preview option and then you want to change the specified steps to around 40 and then press OK. Next we want to change the appearance of our lines so it looks like the top half of the lines are disappearing into the distance and we can do that with the mesh tool so go to object envelope distort make with mesh change the rows and columns both to one and then press OK and then using the direct selection tool select the top left anchor point and then you'll get a little handle about a quarter of the way down and we just want to select the handle and move it up to the top and then we want to repeat the same on the opposite side. Next bring the top half of the lines down to about halfway and then go to object envelope distort expand and then go to object envelope distort make with mesh again and then change the rows and columns both to 8 and then press OK. Once you've added the mesh you should have a grid of anchor points and what we can do is using the direct selection tool is select an individual anchor point and start moving them and start molding a wavy line shape. Once you're happy with the shape, go to Object, Envelope, Distort, Expand and then using the gradient tool we want to change the colour black to a gradient using our blue and pink colours. So selecting the first colour on the gradient we want to select our pink colour and then on the second one we just want to select our blue colour. Once you're happy with the colours we can now copy and paste this into a new Photoshop document. So select the line artwork and go to Edit copy, open up Photoshop and create a new document 1920 by 1080 pixels and then just go to edit paste. Once you paste in the vector artwork you want to paste it in as a smart object and then press OK and then just holding the alt and shift key just drag the artwork and make it a little bit bigger than the actual canvas size and then press the enter key to confirm the placing of the vector object. Once the artwork is in place select the locked background layer and just hit the delete key or hit the rubbish can icon at the bottom and then create a new solid fill layer using a dark blue colour if you want to use the same colour as me it's 111334 and then hit OK and then just drag that solid fill colour underneath the vector smart object and it's at this point we can start labeling some of our layers so the solid fill colour will be the background and we'll just name this one wavy lines Next make sure the wavy line layer is selected and go to filter, blur gallery, tilt shift. Within the tilt shift options panel you want to change the blur amount to 15, leave the distortion at 0 and you can leave the symmetric distortion unticked and you just want to select the dotted line at the top and the bottom and just move it to the edge of the document and what that will do is it will just blur the top and bottom edges of our wavy line artwork and then just press OK to commit. If at some point you do want to go back in there and change the blur amount 
as our wavy lines artwork was imported as a smart object you have got the freedom to edit each of the effects that which we apply next we want to create a duplicate layer of our wavy lines and just bring out the colors a bit more to make it a bit more saturated so right click the wavy lines layer and go to duplicate layer rename this layer to wavy lines blur drag the duplicate underneath the original change the color blend mode to color dodge just to bring out those colors and then go to filter blur gaussian blur and we just want to apply a blur radius of 40 pixels and then press ok and that gives us a nice neon effect to our lines and finally the artwork wouldn't be complete without a bit of text so select the type tool Once you've added the text and positioned it in the centre of the document, select both text layers and select the create group folder icon and just name that text. Press control down the keyboard to make a selection around everything and make sure the text group is selected and then hit the vertically and horizontally centre again to make sure that the whole group is centred. And then we can apply an overall effect to the actual group itself. So double click on the group layer and the first effect we want to apply is a drop shadow and we want to use a normal blend mode with the same blue colour as our background or a similar colour to our background the opacity we want to leave at 100 distance and spread set to 0 and then we want to change the size to 27 and the second effect we want to add is an outer glow so using the blend mode screen, opacity 40%, change the outer glow to a gradient using the same colours we applied to our lines. And then we just want to change the spread to zero and the size to 250 pixels. Once you apply those effects, press OK. And then that just adds a bit more definition to the text just to make it stand out a little bit more. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to stick around, make sure you subscribe ready for the next one.